In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to sell to untapped markets and different countries for your Shopify dropshipping and e-commerce stores. And these are the exact strategies that I've used to scale my Shopify dropshipping stores to five and six figures. So let me go over what we are going to be covering in this tutorial. Well, I am going to be covering why you should actually sell to different countries with your Shopify dropshipping and e-commerce stores. So I'll get into that in a moment. Then I am going to be showing you how to translate your store using a Shopify app called Transkey. So once you translate your store, you can actually start selling to different countries and untapped markets. So I'll be showing you how to use the Transkey AI app. It can completely translate your store using artificial intelligence, and you can get started with the Transkey Shopify app for completely free. So as you can see, you can translate up to one language and one currency for completely free to get started. And it does use auto AI translations. And then if you do want to expand into different markets and start using other languages, you can always upgrade your plan. And this will also allow you to edit the translations yourself. And if you use the link in the description, you will get 10% off of your first month of the Transkey app. So I'll be showing you how to translate your store in a few moments. Once I have shown you how to translate your store using the Transkey Shopify app, I will be showing you how to get video ads in different languages using viral ecom ads. So viral ecom ads is a website you can use to purchase ad packages in order to start testing your products. And you can actually purchase these ad packages in different languages. So I'll be showing you how you can actually go and purchase your ad packages from viral ecom ads in different languages so you can start testing your products in untapped markets and different countries. Then I'll also be giving you an overview, a very brief overview of how you can actually set up these Facebook ads so you can start targeting different countries and how you can have a look at different audience sizes for different countries that you might want to target. And then finally, again, I'll be giving you a brief overview of how to deal with customer service when it is in different languages. So if you receive an email from a customer that is in a different language, how to actually deal with that. And I'll also be giving you a brief, brief overview of how I deal with taxes when selling to different countries. So this is exactly what we're going to be covering. And we are just going to start off with why you should actually sell to different countries. Well, if we actually have a look at the largest e-commerce markets in 2023, as you can see, there are quite a few different countries on there that you might not have thought about marketing your Shopify dropshipping and e-commerce store towards. So as you can see, we have the obvious ones, China, USA, and the UK, but you also have countries like Japan, South Korea, Germany, France, and many other countries that you can market your stores towards that you probably haven't thought about and where the competition isn't as fierce as the US, the UK, or Canada, which are the main countries that most dropshippers are targeting. The second reason why you might want to start marketing your Shopify dropshipping and e-commerce stores towards other countries is because there are loads of upcoming markets and untapped countries that you haven't thought about selling to, but they are growing very fast. So if we have a look at the fastest growing e-commerce markets in 2023, as you can see, we have the Philippines, Philippines, India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Mexico, Argentina, South Korea, Vietnam. These are all of the fastest growing e-commerce markets in 2023. So you can actually start taking advantage of these quickly growing markets by selling to these countries. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do in this tutorial. So the first thing we are going to want to do is actually translate our Shopify store into another language. And I'm going to be focusing on the French market for this tutorial, because that is a market that I have actually previously sold to, where I've scaled my stores to five and six figures. So I know the market fairly well. So you are just going to log into your Shopify store. And the first thing we are going to do is translate our store into French. But of course, you can translate it into whatever language the country you want to market your store towards speaks. So I will leave a link in the description to the Transkey app, and you are just going to click on install. And from here, you will click on install again. From here, you can choose the languages that you want to translate your store into. So you can click on add language, and you can start scrolling through and choose some of the languages that you want to translate your store into. So I'm going to translate my store into French. I am actually going to go and pick a couple of other languages. So let's scroll all the way down. I am also going to choose Spanish. 
and I am also going to choose German. So let's go and choose German. But you can, of course, choose as many languages as you want to when you think about which countries you want to start marketing your store towards. So I'm going to go for these three languages and I'm going to click on I've done this. Next up, you will be prompted to add the currency of the countries that you want to target. So you will see go to settings. You can just right click this and open your settings in a new tab and you will see store currency. You can click on these three dots and click on change currency formatting. You can then head back to the other tab and you will see HTML with currency with formatting. You can copy this and where it says HTML with currency, you can simply go and paste this in here. And then again, where it says HTML without, you can copy this and you can paste this in HTML without, and then you can click on save. Once you have saved this, you can head back to the other tab with the Transkey app and you can click on I've done this. You can then go and add the currency of the country that you want to target. So in this instance, I will be targeting France. So I have added the Euro. So if you click on add currencies, you can see all of the different currencies that you can add. So just go and choose the currency of the country that you want to target and then click on I've done this. You can then go and choose the language and currency switcher style. So you will see different styles. You've got a drop down and you also have a pop up and you have different styles of drop down and pop up. I'm just going to leave it as the default and then you can click on great go to final step. For the final step, we need to enable the language and currency switcher. So we are going to click on enable switcher and just make sure that the Transkey switcher is switched on and then click on save. Once you have saved this, you can head back to the other tab with the Transkey app. You can scroll down and click on preview. So now in the top right hand corner, you will see the language and currency selector. So I can just go and choose English and I am going to go and choose euros and I can hit apply. And now, as you can see, my store has been translated into French. And if we scroll down, we can see all of the products are now in euros. And this is across the whole store. So my entire store has been translated into French. So for example, if I click on one of these products, and as you can see, the entire product page has now been translated into French and the product itself is showing in euros. So now my product is actually ready to start marketing towards the French market. And like I say, this will be for all of your pages, your policy pages, if we go over to the contact us. And as you can see, the contact us page has also been translated into French. So like I say, the Transkey app will completely translate your entire store and all of its pages, all of the products and collection pages. Now I'm going to show you how you can go and change the branding of the dropdown. But I do just want to mention, if you do have some default selectors with your actual theme, you can go and get rid of these now. So you can just come into online store, click on themes, click on customize. And if you click on your header, you can scroll down and you will see country, region selector and language selector. So you can just go and turn these off if they are included with your current theme, because there's no point having two currency and language selectors on your store, because that just looks slightly weird. You're only going to want to use the Transkey language and currency selector. So once you have done that, you can simply click on save. Now we can head back to the Transkey app. So if I just click on the Transkey dashboard, from the Transkey dashboard, you can click on localization. And you can go and add any other currencies that you want to, to all of your active markets. So as you can see, I've got the United States, I've got the European Union, International and United Kingdom. So if a customer comes from the United States, right now they can go and change the language to any of these languages, but they can only change the currency to US dollars. So you can go and add currencies to any of your markets. So if they are coming from the European Union, so if they are coming from France, they can translate their store into French, German or Spanish and they can also change the currencies into any of these currencies. So you can go and add multiple different currencies across multiple different markets if you want to. I recommend to just add the currencies based on the actual market themselves, because what the Transki app can do, it can actually pick up which country the customer is coming from. So I'll show you how to turn that on now. So if we go over to the Transki app, you can actually click on switcher. And from here, if we scroll down, we will see geolocation. So you can turn on auto switch currency and auto switch language. And you can also go and choose visitors browser language or visitors location. 
I recommend to choose their location. And then based on the location that they're in, the currency and the language will automatically switch to their local currency and language. So if somebody from France comes over to my store, the Transki app will recognize that they are coming from France and it will automatically change their language and their currency. So this is super powerful. So then you can click on save. You can of course change the style and branding of the language and currency switcher as well. So if we go over to advanced, again, you can change it from drop down to pop up if you want to. I prefer the drop down. You can also change the style. So if we come into modern, you can go and change different styles. I actually like some of the classic ones. So I'm gonna go for posh and click on apply now. So now as you can see, it's added this rounded effect. Now, if we also go to advanced and we scroll down, we will see the switches as well. So you can actually go and change this on a mobile as well if you want to. So again, if we come into classic, I can go and change this to posh on a mobile as well and click on apply. So make sure that you have a cohesive design across the mobile and the desktop version of your site. So you can switch between mobile and desktop when you are designing the language and currency switcher. So if we come into advanced, again, I am going to scroll down. You will see the position preference. So we can go embedded. So then that way it will be embedded here like this, or you can go for floating on the page. It's totally up to you. You can go for top right. You can go for top left bottom right, bottom left. As a matter of fact, on a mobile, I am just going to embed it into the header like this. And then if we just hit save and we just go and choose the template. So we can just go and call this mobile and hit save. So now we have that template saved for our mobile. Now we can go back to desktop. Again, you can go into advanced and you can go and choose the position. So again, we can go and choose embedded. We can go and choose at the top of the page. I'm just gonna go and choose floating. You can go and choose the position, top right, top left, bottom right, whichever you want. So let's go and have a look at bottom left. I think that looks really good in the bottom left here. You can of course go and choose the pixel sizes as well. So offset from the side. If I go and increase this, as you can see, it offsets it a little bit more. I'm going to leave it as the default. And again, to the left, it offsets it a little bit more. Again, I'm gonna leave this as the default. If we come into display, you can go and change the actual look of this. So we can go for only label. We can go for only arrow. I'm going to leave it as arrow and label. You can go and change the Chevron design. So we could go for this one here like this. You can go for language icon. I'm just going to leave it as the Chevron down. You can go and choose the boldness. So whether you want it to be light, bold or regular. And again, with the label of the languages. So you can go and change any of these labels and you can go and change the style. So if we come into style, if we come in here, I can make this a square, I can make this rounded, I can make this a rounded pill. So you can go and change all of these, small shadow, large shadow. It's totally up to you how you want to design it. And finally, for the colors, we can go and change the colors as well. So I am just gonna go and change some of the colors. So when it comes to the border, I'm just gonna change it to the color that's on the rest of my site. Same with the arrow. And for the text, I'm just going to change this to black. So then we can go and hit save. And again, we can give this template a name. So I'm just gonna call this desktop and click on save. Once you are happy with the design of your language and currency selector, you can come into localization again, and you can further translate your store if you want to. So you can choose any of these languages, click on these three dots, click on manage translations. And in here, you can update any of the translations for any of the pages. So as you can see, it will go and check your products, collections, and Transkey integrations in real time. And you can go and update all of your other pages daily if you want to. So if we go to pages, we can turn this on. And now it will go and check for any updates I add to any of my pages every day to see if they have been translated correctly. If we click on translate, you can also go and translate your store using Deeple if you upgrade, and you can also go and hire an expert translator. So if you do want to take your store one step further, you can hire an expert translator, and that way you can use these experts to translate your store. So for example, if you wanted to translate all of your products into a very specific language, you can go to translate and click on hire expert translators. And if you scroll down, it will show you the number of products that you have on your store, 
the number of words that you have on each of those products, and it will quote you a price of how much it's going to cost to translate all of your products. So this is a really great way to make sure that you have a 100% correct translation if you do want to start diving into markets with a more complex language. So you can click on I have read and agree to the terms and click on hire expert translators if you do want to go and translate any of your store into a very specific language or if you just want to make sure that everything is completely correct you can always hire an expert translator so now if we come into translation you can also translate any local images so if we click on localize images I can click on select product I can select a product that has any images that I want to translate and click on select and from here you can go and replace any of these images and you can translate them into a different language if they've got text over the image or something like that. So for example, if this had English text over it, I can go and add a different image. So when somebody from France comes over to the product page, they will see the text in French. So you can go and paste in an image link or upload a file for a different image and it will replace the original image on the product page with the new updated image that is in the local language. So again, this is a really powerful way to go and translate your store when you are targeting new markets and trying to sell to different countries. So now again, if we go back to translation, and this time we can click on set auto translation. We can go and choose the language that we want to auto translate and click on save. And then you can click on next. And now from here, you can set up auto translations for any updates that you make to any product pages, collections, or other resources. So other resources would be things like your policy pages. So you can click on set up product pages. You can go and select any product pages that you want to be auto translated. If you click on auto sync products, any other products that you add to your store will also be auto translated. And then you can click on save. So now any changes or updates that I make to these product pages, will automatically be translated by the Transkey app. So now if we go over to the front end of my store, as you can see, all of the products have been translated into French and into Euros. So now I am ready to start marketing my store and products towards the French market. So now that you've translated your store into your target country's language, the next thing you're going to want to do is to get some video ads in that language as well. And in order to get these video ads, we will be using viral ecom ads. I've used viral ecom ads as services for multiple different stores, and they're always proven to convert. And the guys that actually run viral ecom ads also own stores themselves, so they know exactly what works because they're running the ads themselves. Now they have multiple different ad packages that you can purchase and they are super affordable. So as you can see, they have this split testing ad package, which is best mostly for Facebook. They also have a video ad package if you want to buy one single video. They have a TikTok split testing ad package, a Snapchat split testing package, and a story ad package. And they also do UGC ads. And like I say, their ads are super affordable. I have actually purchased the split testing video ad package. So I will show you some ads that I have purchased that were in French. So all you need to do is simply just go and choose the amount of ads that you actually want. You can go and add a thumbnail and you can also go and add a voiceover if you want to. And then once you make your purchase, you will be prompted to fill out a submission form. And in that submission form, you can go and specify the language that you want your video ads to be in. So whether it's French, German, Spanish, or any other type of language, you can go and specify this in the submission form, and they will go and create those ads for your product in that language. And they can create ads for pretty much any product that you send them. And as you can see, they do have one to three business day delivery, so you can get your ads super quick and unlimited revisions. So if you do want to make any changes to your ads, you can go and make those changes. So let me show you an ad that I got from them that is in French, just to show you the quality of the ads that they can create in other types of languages. Ajouter un charme fantaisiste à l'ambiance nocturne. Rendez l'heure du coucher magique avec les smiley toast. Il ajoute une touche amusante et excentrique à la routine du sommeil. L'adorable visage souriant illumine n'importe quelle pièce. Il aide à atténuer la peur de l'obscurité chez les enfants. C'est un cadeau original pour les enfants et les adultes. Il est fabriqué à partir de matériaux sûrs et non toxiques. 
faites vite, jusqu'à épuisement du stock. Achetez-le dès aujourd'hui. So as you can see, they have created an amazing ad creative completely in French. So now I have four video ad creatives that I can actually use to market this product. And as you can see, the actual product page itself is completely translated in French. So now you are ready to start actually setting up your ads on Facebook. Now, when you're setting up your ads on Facebook, it's super easy to target other countries. So when you are setting up your ad campaigns, you are then going to set up your ad sets and within your ad sets, you can go and choose your location. So as you can see for this location, I have chosen France so I can run my ads across the entirety of France. You can then go and choose your interest if you want to. So for this particular product, I've gone and chosen baby shower and that way you can go and see if your audience has a decent size. So the interest baby shower in France actually has a decent size audience of 10 to 12 and a half million. So I think that's pretty decent. So I just wanted to make a point here that you might think some of these countries will have super small audiences, so you won't actually be able to make any sales. But even some of these countries that you might think have smaller markets still have decent size audiences on Facebook that you can target. And like I've mentioned at the beginning of the video, the competition is much less fierce. So you can actually go and tap in to these untapped markets and these untapped countries to start making more sales with your Shopify dropshipping and e-commerce stores. So like I say, I just wanted to give you a brief overview of how you can go and target different countries on Facebook and just to show you that the audience sizes are still fairly decent. So now the last thing I do want to cover in this tutorial is how do you deal with customer service when it's in another language? So perhaps a customer has emailed you about a refund or they want their order tracking number or just an update on their purchase. Well, it's very simple. You can just simply use Google Translate. So you can just go and paste their email into Google Translate, go and understand what they're asking for. And then you can just go and hit this button, swap languages. You can go and type out your email in your language and it will translate it into the other language and you can just reply to their email using that initially. Now, if you do want to take it one step further, you can always hire a virtual virtual assistant that speaks the language that you are targeting your products towards. So for example, I've just gone over to Fiverr here and typed in French virtual assistant and you will see loads of virtual assistants that you can hire hourly to deal with your customer service. If you are getting a high volume of emails and you're finding it difficult to deal with them, you can always go and hire a virtual assistant. So if we go and have a look over here, web research, calls in French, support admin. So this person will actually go and answer all of your emails in French. And as you can see, she's charging £12.28. That's probably for an hour. So you could hire them for a couple of hours a week to go and deal with all of your customer service. So perhaps one hour per day for five days per week. So it's not going to cost you probably more than £100 or $100 to deal with all of your customer service in another language. And once you actually get to that volume where you've got loads of customer service emails, you'll be bringing in enough sales where you won't even really notice this eating into your profits. Now, the last thing I do want to briefly cover in this tutorial, because I know loads of people are going to ask me in the comments, what about taxes when you are selling to another country? Well, I can't really give you specific tax advice because it depends on the country that you're based in and the country that you're selling to. But what I personally do is I use this website here called justanswer.co.uk to go and speak to tax advisors. So you can actually go and pay to speak to tax advisors. You can tell them your specific scenario and they will be able to advise you on how you should deal with your taxes. Now you can go and find a similar website for your own country. So just head over to Google and just type in speak to a tax advisor and you should be able to find a similar website where you can speak to a tax advisor. You could say I'm running an e-commerce store based in this country, but I plan on selling to this country. What do you think I should do? And they will be able to give you tax advice. So that really is the best advice I can give you when it comes to taxes. Just go and do your due diligence, do a bit of research, speak to a tax advisor if you have to, and they will be able to give you the best advice. So there you have it. That is how you can start bringing in more revenue with your Shopify dropshipping and e-commerce stores. 
by marketing your store to untapped markets and different countries. If you have enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you do have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments section down below and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping and e-commerce content. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.